Jeff from the Bronco Graveyard. I'd like to introduce you to Tom and Donna Broberg. They come up to Bronco Rama 012 and brought their screaming demon Bronco. I know you'll enjoy the video. Now, this Bronco is what we call Operation Screaming Demon. It's been featured in Bronco Driver Magazine since its inception. Uh, we've had several features on the upgrades we've done to this Bronco. The goal of this Bronco is to take it to a modern day Bronco where you can take a Tenny Ford dealer and plug it in and have it diagnosed. So we started with a, a, a modern drivetrain which encapsulated a 2007 Mustang engine with the uh, five-speed automatic SR55S transmission. Strop Performance manufactures an adapter. It takes the 5R55S transmission, which is found in 2005 to 2011 uh, modern-day Ford Mustangs and other vehicles, and it adapts it to a four-wheel drive. The adapter also works with any of the uh, modular motors that Ford makes, even the new Coyote engine. So Ford is, is getting on the, tackling the LS challenge and making a modular motor that's good for the aftermarket but nobody makes anything that adapts it to a four-wheel drive other than what's manufactured so far in this in this truck um, the truck is got a lot of the aftermarket products from Jeff's Bronco graveyard we'll show you a few of those products we have seen the truck go 110 miles an hour and it's been on YouTube although we haven't been driving it uh, and it's a you know it's made for a modern day dependable drive as well as performance. It gets about 20 miles to the gallon. Um, what did you have it on the dyno and what did it dyno? Well, dynoed once it was ra ratioed out, we dynoed at 300 and that was, they had the other numbers before as it was going through the transfer case to the rear wheels. But once that was all calculated in, it actually dynoed at 300. So, so th that kind of horsepower pulling up next to a Camaro is uh, pretty fun when you got a, a four wheel drive Mustang. <laughs> Why did we pick the name Screaming Demon? Uh, number one, it's Ford Screaming Yellow paint color. And also, in, in the Mustang world, there was a P-51 Mustang squadron called the Screaming Demons. And being we took the Mustang engine and the drive package, we thought P-51 Mustang, we would honor and have kind of a military heritage and honor, uh, you know, the uh, Screaming Demon war heroes of the, uh, of the P-51 renegade back in the World War II era. His dad was in World War II. My dad was just in the Navy, but his dad was actually in World War II. So that, again, is where part of that comes yeah, from. We, we, try to talk, we try to have a reason for why we name things, why we do things. And, uh, you know, we spent the first seven years of Bronco Driver Magazine building up a big orange crush Bronco that we did all original, and we put all the aftermarket stuff. And then we, we in 2009, we auctioned it off for charity. And, and we began this project about two years ago and it's to the st status where it is now. And it will not ever be auctioned off. <laughs> Can't do it. We probably won't do that again, but we still will do different things in order to get interest and keep Bronco, you know, excitement going in the Bronco world. We like trying things new that haven't been done before and letting our readers understand and I guess we call us the guinea pigs. We go out and do things that, you know, are trying to be innovative and Although it's cost us time and cost us money, we made mistakes, but we've learned and helped, hopefully we've helped and we document helping others achieve similar results. And like the gas caps, one of the reasons we did it, it's very hard sometimes getting that gas cap off. It's very round and very tight, where our new gas cap actually has finger grooves. You can use those little grooves in it and it helps you just well, click let's open. See. Let's, let's take you around the Bronco and, and show you a few things that we've, we've got that are unique features. One of the items that we have that car is carried by Jeff's Bronco Graveyard is the new uh, door panel. It's an upper level door panel. It's billet graded. It has the nice horse and Bronco script cut into it. It comes with all the clips and it gives it a nice upper billet feel. Um, our newest research and development project is we've put uh, the transfer case can, you know, mostly people have a transfer case that is either a J pattern or a T pattern. You can cut your transfer case shifter and make it into a twin stick. And that was become, a, uh, in the last 10 years, that's been kind of common. But the, the twin sticks were only able to be mounted on the floorboard in between where the original transfer case shifter was. 
and we've, we're developing what's now a cable system where you can put your twin stick shifters anywhere you want in the Bronco. It doesn't have to be protruding through your, your floorboard where you have some feet room and some space. It can be mounted anywhere you want. And we're making adapters where that you can run the Dana 20 on a cable system and mount it on your dash. And it, as you'll see in this Bronco, we've mounted it behind the shifter where it's out of the way, it's convenient and easy to get to. If you keep a look at broncodriver.com, uh, that's our magazine website. You can get up-to-date news, keep up with our stories, as well as we have strop, S-T-R-O-P-P-E dot com, where we have some of our new innovative ideas and some of the projects we're working on and the, what we've done so far and where, where the status of the projects are. And those will be listed in the Bronco Drivers New Products category inside the magazine.